So, you want to learn how to hunt? Is that what I'm hearing? I know how to shoot a gun. It's a rifle, not a gun. I was in the 10th Mountain Cope. Don't give me any of your Marine Corps bullshit. Killing a buck's a little different than killing a man. Or a freak. The best way to hunt an animal is to track it. You gotta focus. And see what nature's trying to tell you. If you look hard enough, you'll see the signs. Okay then, look hard. See this pile of deer scat? It's fresh. Yeah, I see it. They lead this way. <laughs> yeah, I can see that. Well, come on then. Quick, there's your buck. I see him. Use my rifle. If you were in the 10th mountain, you know how to use a scope. Yeah, Cope, I know how to use a scope. Easy, easy. You got him. Nice shot. Oh, God damn it! it wasn't a kill shot. He got away. No, no, that's okay. You wounded him. Okay. See the blood spots? Look close. Yeah, I see him. And follow him. On it. He'll be slowing down about now. Losing too much blood. We should be coming across his carcass any time now. Okay. You know how to gut an animal? Yeah, look. Cope, Boozer and I have been hunting before. He used to go elk hunting with his old man, and yeah, he, uh, he showed me how to gut a deer. Well, let's just say no disrespect to Boozer, but you've got a lot to learn. You're wasting a lot of meat there. Overall, not bad for a beginner. Yeah, thanks. Now, I'll take back that rifle. Here, thanks. Like I said, Deke, we can always use more venison at the camp. Still got some folks trying to heal up from that Ripper attack. Okay, Cope. Yeah, I'll see if I can remember that. Let me get the gate for you. Okay, Doc. 
to come carry on yourself. Only animals can become carry in Corbin, not humans. You guys check the perimeter, right? Yeah, it's good. This way, you poor son of a bitch. At least you weren't torn apart by freaks. If you lived a few more weeks, you might have become one yourself. Now, whether that been something. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Uh, what do you want? Stay back. I just want to talk. Uh, Nero Protocol 2-7 states clearly that uh, if conducting operations in quarantine zones, if I encounter any civilians or sub... sub d drip, Civilians that I'm forbidden from making contact. Really? See, that sounded to me like making contact. Yes. Yes, it did. You're alive. Yes. I am. How? How are you alive? What? I, I, I don't understand. Okay. You were there that night. Farewell. The next night, uh, refugee Nero camp, protocol two the chapters were states. burning, I, everyone was dead, they were slaughtered, seven. torn limb Nero for goddamn limb. Protocol All right, listen up, we're gonna do this the easy way or the hard way. The easy way, we have a little chat. You give me the information that I need, and then you go back to digging your way through freaker shit or whatever the hell else you're doing out here. The hard way. I crack open that little space suit, and then we see what your friends out there have to say about you breathing in all this contaminated air. So what's it gonna be, O'Brien? <laughs> Yes? Okay? Okay? You remember the rooftop of the old brewery? I put a woman on your chopper, she was wounded. Yes. I remember, a, a knife wound. She, she was cut pretty bad. I went to the refugee camp that you said you were taking her to. Everyone was dead, so I'm gonna ask you again. How did you survive? We weren't there. We were diverted south to another camp. Like you said, the camp in Belknap was overrun, so they moved us south to a camp outside of Silver Lake. Were there survivors? You mean now? I don't know. I, I was transferred to the research unit. Did she survive? Oh, wait, 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 wait. I, 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 I can find out. I, I can check. You, you have one of our radios. That's how you... Uh, I, I can't promise anything, but... I'll check. Uh huh. And I'm gonna go with you. No, you, you can't. Please, you don't. Hey, you don't understand. I'll fucking shoot you. Not before I shoot you. Okay, look. If you're gonna fucking kill me, do it. Okay? I did my job. Did the woman, your wife? I put her on oxygen. I gave her an IV. I kept her alive. I got in a lot of trouble for that. She was septic. She wasn't gonna make it. But I got out of the mass unit. I saved her goddamn life. O'Brien, <sighs> report. I have to go. Please, I, you have to get out of here. You don't know these men. You don't know Ryan, what they're capable of. If I don't hear from you, I don't care how long it takes. I'm going to track you down. And I'm going to do a lot worse than snap off an antenna. I'm sorry about your wife. But you're not the only one who lost someone that night.
Brian Neville Bryant. He's alive. How the hell is he alive? They were diverted south. He said that he put her on oxygen. He gave her an IV. He kept her alive. She was septic, so she wasn't gonna make it, but he got her to the mesh unit. He saved her life. He said it. He said he saved her life. She, she can still be. She can. No, no, no. No, no. But O'Brien is alive. And if he is, then maybe. O'Brien. Are you out there? O'Brien! Oh, you son of a bitch, you better radio me. You hear me, O'Brien? I know you're on this channel. God damn it. Better get back to me or I'm going to track you down. You got that? Oh, God damn it. Oh, come on, Ryan. Get back to me. Can I help you? Deke. You ever ride with a drifter, scars all over his face, carries a tire iron, goes by the name of Limbo? Don't know him. He came into camp yesterday to turn in some bounties, have a few drinks. Seems like he didn't leave until early this morning. Well, Tuck, I don't run security here, so why don't you just tell al -Kai about that? He beat a man, Deke, and a woman, to death, Bowman and Hewitt. Her face was so smashed in you couldn't tell it was her. Hewitt... Maria, right? Oh, Jesus. This asshole, Limbo, he's a local. Alki says they've set up shop at the old Forest Service watchtower on the east slope of Three Finger Jack. Yep, I know where it is, and, uh, I'll handle it. I thought you might. Hey, Tuck. So, am I on your trust list, or no? Hey, Tuck, I'm here, and yeah, looks like Limbo and his crew are calling the place home like nothing ever happened. He said his face was scarred, so, uh, I mean, more, please? What else can you tell me? He wears a green coat. Looks like a goddamn leprechaun. You bring me his tire iron, Deacon St. John, and I want it covered in what's left of the son of a bitch's face. I hear ya. Uh, St. John out. Come on, you sorry son of a bitch. 
bitches. Lock this kid locked down, or are you gonna answer to Limbo and his pal on two? running around. Still got old iron tooth on you, yeah? Oh! 
Hey, what do you need? Hey, what's up? Yeah? You find that son of a bitch? Yeah, here's old Iron Tooth, just like you asked. Ah, uh, nice work. Deke, you're always the one person I could count on to get things done. <laughs> you know, I have no idea where you and Boozer rode off to, but it's good to see you. Well, we're around, Tuck, and if you need anything, you know how to reach me. Go see Alkai. I'll update your credits. Can I help you? Uh, just having a look.